And now for something completely different from the same producer, <laughs> oh. just just to make it easy for me to write about. Well, you know, when a guy's making good wines, I mean, it's pretty rare that we you'll find two or three wines in the portfolio from one winemaker that we like. But this is it, clearly the case. Yeah, uh, and Nero Diablo is a phenomenal grape. It's just it really is. It's really coming to its own. Victoria, this is actually a ton, this is from the main line, main island though. I mean, uh, it's not from Sicily. It's from southern Italy though. Wow, um, what a fun nose! Wow, it's got it's really okay. interesting. It's okay. got almost like a, a brick sort of smell yeah. to it, and, and then some licorice. Mm -hmm. mm. I'm going to tell you right Ooh. now, that was, one of, that was one of the most complex Nero Dallas I've ever had. Usually it's just fruit. Well, no, but this has got plums and... and Dried plums. Got some, it's even actually got some white stone fruits play, uh, mm -hmm. uh, smells in there, like a white nectarine this or white peach, nose. you know? In Chinatown, in Los Angeles, in the old days, when I was a kid, they used to have a plum candy. <laughs> it was a wafer. Yeah. And I used to love it. And this is the nose. I haven't smelled this in 35 years. It's delicious. Absolutely. Since I was a kid 35 years ago. Yeah, I was a kid 35 years ago. An older kid, but I was a kid. <laughs> this is driving me crazy. This is really delicious wine. I'm, I'm, I, you know, this is $22.99 on the shelf, which is still a great price. $12.99 read order, and I'm doing, I'm doing a 97. I'll do a 96. Okay. 